All right, what's good everybody? Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors past the halfway point. We are actually in wind gap around mile 1278. Wanted to go over my gear again at the halfway point, so let's do it. As far as clothing goes, I'm keeping everything still in the Z-Pax pillow dry bag. I've been using that since the beginning. Really, really dig it. Works great as a pillow. Works great to store your clothes. I have two hiking shirts. Uh, they're just athletic, you know, polyester shirts. They are sleeveless. Two buffs still with me. Love these things. Keep my head uh, covered from the sun because I'm typically a bald man. Keeps sweat out of my eyes. I have one, two, three pairs of hiking boxers. I typically use these two. Both are ex officio. I use them for hiking, and this one I will change into sleep in right down here. One, two. I have two pair of hiking shorts. Both are seven inch, inseam, whatever. They work. Athletic, polyester, whatever. One, two, three, four pairs of socks. Two of them are knee high. Two of them are about shin height. I've been really liking the knee highs just because we're kind of in tick country. It's kind of my happy medium to keep the ticks away and um, not wear pants. So. That's what I'm doing with them. I have over here a down jacket which may be going home today. I have not used it since the Smokies, I don't think. I have my Melanzana hoodie, which I've had since the beginning. Love this thing. I actually use this as a blanket sometimes at night when it's too hot out. These I just had shipped to me. They are Icebreaker Merino wool leggings. I had Patagonia, um, the thermal weight Capeline ones. I switched them out for this because the Patagonia are way too big now. And I might even send them back because I haven't used the Patagonia ones since the Smokies either, I don't think. So down here, Z-Packs right there. The rain skirt I still have with me. Still love this thing, multi-purpose, use it a lot. Right here is the Z-Packs rain pack cover. Still use that to keep the outer contents of my pack dry. So I switched out my rain gear. You know, I had the Outdoor Research Helium 2, and I also had a Frog Togs Dry Ducks Poncho that I ended up buying, and I kept both of them with me. The Dry Ducks for the rain, and then the Outdoor Research for high winds. But I also owned this coat. It's an Eastern Mountain Sports um, raincoat. It's not super light. It's not super heavy, though, compared to the two other items I'm shipping out it's negligible so and this I think will work better for me this one has pockets and it also has pit zips which are huge as far as cooling off goes so I'm gonna give that a test run and see how that works I did end up picking up a thing of camp shoes they're cheapo sandals and I also switched out to ultras the Lone Peak 3.0's don't ask what's going on down there um, if anybody's owned a pair of these the little front flap tends to come off pretty often like it'll pop off the front of the shoe. Did it the third day I owned them, and then uh, I glued it back and it lasted 250 miles, so I'm gluing them back again. Down here, I also have the Ultra running or whatever gaiters that go over the shoes, so that is it for clothing. All right here, I got my iPad still. I do all of my video editing from the trail on that little device right there. Pretty crucial to everything. Have my headphones right here. Right there, I have the two bags I use to keep everything stored in. I have a lightning cable here for the iPad and my iPhone. Three micro USB cables, which may seem crazy, but it's nice to be able to charge everything at once and not have to wait for outlets and stuff. And I have a lot of micro USB devices. I have two chargers right there. This one is a high speed one. This is just a normal, regular one. I have these right here, additional memory cards because I take up a lot of space with video. Right here, lightning to USB connector, connects iPad to camera. Black Diamond Revolt headlamp, still with me from the start. Stick pick, connects to the bottom of the camera. You can use it as a selfie stick kind of situation. Two additional batteries for the camera I am using, which I will talk about momentarily. A charger for said batteries. I did recently just pick up another one of these. So this is an additional battery bank. Both of these are 13,000 milliamp hour, which I realize may sound insane, but I do have a lot of electronics out here. I stay out in the woods for typically now at least a week, and it's nice to be able to keep things charged. And the camera I'm using to film is the Sony RX100 Mark III, and I typically have this connected to it. It's a little tripod, 
So you can use it to hold or you can prop it up like a tripod. So my big three slash three and a half are all still the same since I started. Still have the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree quilt, though it's not currently in here, it's just representing it. <laughs> it's airing out. Uh, still using the Solplex from z -Packs. It's working out great. Still have my Thermarest, the NeoAir X-Lite. Works awesome. And of course, the z -Packs are call. Literally no complaints on that thing at all. Uh, you can see here too, I do have one of the uh, Z-Lite sit pads and a little handkerchief hanging off of it. So all of them have been working out absolutely wonderful for me. Uh, for the r -call, I do have the uh, hip belt pockets and the shoulder pockets. Z-Packs food bag loaded to the brim, occasionally overflowing, regularly overflowing. I have a Tokes titanium 550 milliliter pot, a Tokes long handle spoon, the Z-Pax bear line, I think it's slick line or bear line, it came with the um, bear bag when I bought it. And I'm using the BRS stove in, in there with the BRS stove is a mini Bic lighter and I do have a fuel canister somewhere. Okay, and just a couple other random things go over my water filtration system currently. Still have the cutoff Sawyer bag to scoop water when the source is kind of low. I have an ever new 2 liter bag as well as a brand new Sawyer 2 liter bag. I chose to bring some extra because in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, water is kind of hard to come by and you have to camel up here and there. Sawyer filter still with the little tornado tube gravity feed system thing on there. It's working fine. I have a smart water bottle right here with the sport cap so I can back flush my Sawyer. Right over there, you can see I have a Gatorade bottle. I use that um, for water as well. It's got a wider mouth. I use it to mix coffee and other drinks as well. You can see some toilet paper and baby wipes right there. The other stuff over there I've already gone over. Down here, I have a thing of soap, sanitizer, deodorant, because I like to feel kind of human. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste. These right here, I don't refer to them as sunglasses. I refer to them as bug windshields. Because let me tell you, <laughs> the bugs have gotten nasty the last like week. They fly right into your eyeball and it's moderately infuriating. Gotta get yourself a nice pair of bug windshields. So this right here is Z-Packs. I, I think they call it thin line, slick line. I don't even know what it is, but it's very, very thin. I use it just to hang up around camp so I can hang up my clothes clothes on so have my first aid kit and knife compass a couple extra caps extra bic lighter my repair kit and this is essentially the exact same still um, the only stuff I've really used in it is KT tape when I was getting blisters with bad shoes have not had that issue as of late as I have switched to the ultra lone peaks 3.0 they've been working great so the only thing in my repair kit I switched out, I got rid of the tick key and put in a set of regular old tweezers. As far as trekking poles, I am using Lucky, I believe they're called Lucky Journey trekking poles. And I haven't been too pleased with them as of late. They were working really, really well for about 800 miles. As you can see, the tip is ground down to nothing, which I guess might come with 800 miles, but I've figured they get a little more out of them anyway, but the other one is not in the picture. It's actually over there drying. This little section, if I can pull this out. So this little connecting area right here, the other day, just yesterday, got stuck between rocks and when I went to pull it out, this silver part completely disconnected from here, leaving all the glue on this end and stuff. And um, yeah, so I have it glued together and I'm hoping that it does the job because right now I can't really switch them out. There's no outfitter near here. And supposedly Lecky has um, really good customer service and their lifetime warranties. So I'm gonna have to uh, email them, hit them up, see what they say. So, and that'll do it. So thanks for watching everybody and tune in for the next one. Glad to have you around.